The 69th United States Congress was a meeting of the legislative branch of the United States federal government, consisting of the United States Senate and the United States House of Representatives. It met in Washington, D.C. from March 4, 1925, to March 4, 1927, during the third and fourth years of Calvin Coolidge's presidency. The apportionment of seats in the House of Representatives was based on the 13th decennial census of the United States in 1910. Both chambers had a Republican majority. <laughs> Major events A special session of the Senate was called by President Coolidge on February 14, 1925. Impeachment of Judge George W. English on April 1, 1926, the House of Representatives impeached Judge George W. English of the United States District Court for the Eastern District of Illinois. Both houses adjourned on July 3, 1926, with the Senate scheduled to reconvene on November 10, 1926, as a court of impeachment. English resigned before the impeachment trial began. The Senate met as planned on November 10, 1926, to adjourn the court of impeachment signed I. On December 13, 1926, the Senate, acting on advice from the House managers of the impeachment, formally dismissed all charges against Judge English. January 17, 1927, U.S. Supreme Court held McGrain v. Daugherty that Congress has the power to compel witness and testimony. <laughs> Major legislation February 26, 1926, Revenue Act of 1926 April 12, 1926, Timber Exportation Act of 1926 May 8, 1926, Federal Interpleader Act of 1926 May 20, 1926, Air Commerce Act May 20, 1926, Federal Black Bass Act of 1926 May 20, 1926, Railway Labor Act, Parker Watson Act. May 25, 1926, Omnibus Adjustment Act of 1926. May 25, 1926, Public Buildings Act of 1926, Elliot Fernald Act. May 26, 1926, Shenandoah National Park Act of 1926. June 3, 1926, Subsistence Expense Act of 1926. June 14, 1926, Recreation and Public Purposes Act June 15, 1926, Limitation of National Forest Designation Act July 2, 1926, Cooperative Marketing Act July 3, 1926, Walsh Act July 3, 1926, Passport Act of 1926 January 21, 1927, River and Harbors Act of 1927 February 23, 1927, Radio Act of 1927, Dill White Act. February 25, 1927, McFadden Act, Pepper McFadden Act. March 3, 1927, Foreign and Domestic Commerce Act of 1927. March 3, 1927, Produce Agency Act of 1927. March 4, 1927, Mayfield Newton Act. Topic. Party summary The count below identifies party affiliations at the beginning of the first session of this Congress, and includes members from vacancies and newly admitted states, when they were first seated. Changes resulting from subsequent replacements are shown below in the Changes in Membership section. Topic. Senate Topic. House of Representatives American Labor AL, 1 Democratic D, 183 Farmer Labor FL, 3 Republican R, 247 Majority Socialist S, 1 TOTAL Members, 435 Topic. Leadership Senate 
President, Charles G. Dawes R. President pro tempore, Albert B. Cummins R. Elected March 4, 1925 George H. Moses R. Elected March 6, 1925 <laughs> Majority Republican leadership Majority Leader, Charles Curtis Majority Whip, Wesley L. Jones Republican Conference Secretary, James Walcott Wadsworth, Jr. Minority Democratic leadership Minority Leader, Joseph T. Robinson Minority Whip, Peter G. Jerry Democratic Caucus Secretary, William H. King House of Representatives Speaker, Nicholas Longworth R. Topic: Majority Republican leadership. Majority Leader John Q. Tilson. Majority Whip Albert H. Vestal. Republican Conference Chair Willis C. Hawley. Topic: Minority Democratic leadership. Minority Leader Finnis J. Garrett. Minority Whip, William Allen Oldfield Democratic Caucus Chairman, Charles D. Carter Members This list is arranged by chamber, then by state. Senators are listed by class, and representatives by district. Senate. Senators were elected every two years, with one-third beginning new six-year terms with each Congress. Preceding the names in the list below are Senate class numbers, which indicate the cycle of their election. In this Congress, Class I meant their term began in the last Congress, facing re-election in 1928, Class II meant their term began with this Congress, facing re-election in 1930, and Class III meant their term ended with this Congress, facing re-election in 1926. Topic: House of Representatives. Topic: <laughs> Changes in membership. The count below reflects changes from the beginning of the first session of this Congress. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Senate. Replacements, 9 Democratic, no net change Republican, no net change Deaths, 7 Resignations, 0 Contested election, 1 Interim appointments, 2 Total seats with changes, 10 <laughs> House of Representatives Replacements, 9 Democratic, one seat net loss Republican, one seat net gain Deaths, nine Resignations, two Total seats with changes, twelve Committees Lists of committees and their party leaders, for members House and Senate of the committees and their assignments, go into the official congressional directory at the bottom of the article and click on the link four links. In the directory after the pages of Terms of Service, you will see the committees of the Senate, House standing with subcommittees, Select and Special and Joint and after the committee pages, you will see the House, Senate committee assignments in the directory, on the committees section of the House and Senate in the official congressional directory, the committee's members on the first row on the left side show shows the chairman of the committee and on the right side shows the ranking member of the committee. <inaudible> Senate Agriculture and Forestry Alien Property Custodians Office Appropriations 
Audit and control the contingent expenses of the Senate Banking and currency Civil service Claims Commerce District of Columbia Education and labor Enrolled bills Expenditures in executive departments Finance Foreign relations Immigration Immigration and naturalization Indian affairs Internal Revenue Bureau select Interoceanic canals Interstate commerce Judiciary Library Manufactures Military affairs Mines and mining Naval affairs Patents Pensions Post office and post roads Printing Privileges and elections Public buildings and grounds Public lands and surveys Revision of the laws Rules Senatorial elections select. Tariff commission select. Territories and insular possessions War finance corporation loans select. Whole House of Representatives Accounts Agriculture Alcoholic liquor traffic Appropriations Banking and currency Census Civil service Claims Coinage, weights and measures Disposition of executive papers District of Columbia Education Election of the President, Vice President and Representatives in Congress Elections Enrolled bills Expenditures in the Agriculture Department Expenditures in the Commerce Department Expenditures in the Interior Department Expenditures in the Justice Department Expenditures in the Labor Department Expenditures in the Navy Department Expenditures in the Post Office Department Expenditures in the State Department Expenditures in the Treasury Department Expenditures in the War Department Expenditures on Public Buildings Flood Control Foreign Affairs Immigration and Naturalization Indian Affairs Industrial Arts and Expositions Insular Affairs Interstate and Foreign Commerce Invalid Pensions Irrigation and Reclamation Labor Merchant Marine and Fisheries Mileage Military Affairs Mines and Mining Naval Affairs Patents Post Office and Post Roads Public Buildings and Grounds Public Lands Railways and Canals Revision of Laws Rivers and Harbors Roads Rules Standards of Official Conduct Territories War Claims Ways and Means Woman Suffrage Whole Topic. Joint Committees Civil Service Retirement Act Conditions of Indian Tribes Special. Disposition of useless Executive Papers Investigation of Northern Pacific Railroad Land Grants Muscle Shoals Taxation Topic. Caucuses Democratic House Democratic Senate Topic Employees Architect of the Capitol David Lynn Controller General of the United States John R McCarl Librarian of Congress Herbert Putnam Public Printer of the United States George H Carter Topic. Senate Chaplain, John J. Muir Baptist. Secretary, George A. Sanderson Edwin P. Thayer, from December 7, 1925 Sergeant-at-Arms, David S. Barry 
House of Representatives Chaplain James S Montgomery Methodist Clerk William T Page Clerk at the Speaker's Table Lair Fess resigned February 1 1927 Louis Deschler appointed February 1 1927 Doorkeeper Bert W Kennedy Reading Clerks Patrick Joseph Haltigan D and N A R Postmaster Frank W Collier Sergeant at Arms Joseph G Rogers Topic See also United States elections 1924 elections leading to this Congress United States presidential election 1924 United States Senate elections 1924 United States House of Representatives elections 1924 United States elections 1926 elections during this Congress leading to the next Congress United States Senate elections 1926 United States House of Representatives elections 1926